two courses, one for clarinet, one for saxophone, 48 lessons for clarinet, 44 for saxophone. They are downloadable um, in PDF format from my website. It's a step-by-step -step course. It takes you from the earliest stages to beyond grade 8. It's quite long, there's not a lot of it. Um, fingerings are very clearly illustrated and they're pictorially illustrated as you saw in slide 10 there. No labels or numbering system or anything like that for keyword. Um, so it's easy to make um, sense of. There's technical guidance all the way through. Um, there are exercises for to work on the coordinations. All the scales are written out, although you're encouraged to play them from memory as, as soon as possible. And every lesson has a practice plan which tells you exactly what to do in each practice right the way through the week, through each lesson. Each lesson comes with a tutorial video. The videos are between sort of two minutes and some of them are up to ten minutes, but most of them are sort of two to four minutes. Um, so when you get the worksheets, you get a sheet like that and you get a six-figure code here. You go onto the website, you find the lesson you're looking for, this is clarinet lesson 10, so it says get clarinet lesson 10 video, you click there, that opens this screen, there's a box, you put your six finger code in, and the video starts to play on your screen straight away. Um, you can't learn the whole audio skills and arpeggios just by watching the videos, you have to do the worksheets, um, but the videos back it up and things are demonstrated. The lessons tell you exactly what to do every step of the way. You really need to follow all the instructions exactly as it says, not leave anything out. If you cut corners, you'll miss bits, and then you'll, you'll get stuck. And important to complete each lesson before you go on to the next, because it's cumulative. Um, and you need to complete the, complete the practice plans in particular. I go on a lot about rules in these lessons, and this can seem very authoritarian. I think quite a few of my students think I'm a bit of a fascist, I'm not really. Um, rules are there to save you from confusion, really. I try to be consistent in what's used, and I try to simplify, simplify things as much as possible because it, it makes it easier to learn. I recognise that there are many fine players out there who don't follow my fingering patterns. We all develop our own idiosyncrasies, um, but that's something that you can come to later. You really need to First of all. The practice plans, um, the end of each lesson, look a bit like that, so that's uh, clarinet lesson 10 on there. Um, it tells you exactly what to play and how many times. If it says twice, it means twice correctly. So if it takes 10 <coughs> times to do it twice correctly, then I'm afraid it takes 10 times. Um, but for the most part, they look dreadful. They, they get longer and longer as you go through the process. Um, but if you, because you've been doing them all the way through the whole course, um, one of my videos I actually demonstrate, I play 18 items, I think it is, against a timer. Um, I do them slowly, but I, get, I do them all correctly, and um, at the end of it, it's, I think it's about three and a half minutes, 18 items. You'd be amazed how many times you can play a scale in one minute. A quick word about the last lesson in each set. This is um, different from the others. It doesn't actually give you any new instruction particularly, um, but it, shows, it tells you about things that you might do with your scale work after you've taken a class from your grade eight. Um, so I have things like scales in thirds, extending the range, which means going above the tonic at the top and below the tonic at the bottom, um, inverting arpeggios and sevenths, practicing different rhythms and articulations to develop your finger work. And the most exciting part is in, in, in both of them, um, I offer you literally hundreds of fingerings for notes above the normal range of the instrument. And we really do reach for the stratosphere here. The uh, uh, lesson 44 for saxophone, I think there are 333 fingerings for notes outside above the normal range of the instrument. I don't guarantee that they will work. I certainly don't guarantee I can play them all. Um, but I did a lot of research and just worked everything in that I could find. Players tend to make up their own fingerings. There is a teacher's handbook which you can get from the website. But teach from it, but it, it will save you having to go any of the lessons you just talk them through their explanations. If you wanted to join the process, um, what I'd recommend is you look at the teacher's handbook, it's free, um, and because it tells you with each lesson there what you should know by the end of that lesson, so you can see what, what you know, see what, what you need to know, and, and pick up at the appropriate point.